So when theta equals zero, what is the radius? Meaning when I'm here, how far away from the origin is the graph going to be? What's the sign of zero? zero. Are we sounding zero. zero? Let's try that again. <laughs> What's sign of zero? Zero. 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 So when, when theta is zero and I'm down here, that means that's zero. That means r is out of one. So when you graph it, it started here. It goes here, and it, it, it maxes out at three, right? Because at pi over two, sine is one. That's the most it'll ever be. So I'm going to get three up here. So this is three here. This is one. And it comes back down. And then it starts going kind of crazy. We're going to see what this looks like here. And I'm going to graph it R versus theta. So what is the amplitude of this sine wave? Amplitude is 2, meaning that's the, the uh, furthest away from its zero line that it's going to go. The whole thing is bumped up by 1, right? You never thought this stuff was going to come back to bite you, did you? connection between these two. Notice that r, the distance away from the origin, is negative at a very small distance. You see here? This under here represents the inner loop. You see that? That's where r is, is negative, actually. We need to find where these places are. What do we know about r when we're crossing this axis here? It's zero, right? R is up and down. So R is zero here. So basically, to find my boundaries of integration, I need to set R equal to zero. is sine negative in. <laughs> three and four. Which makes sense. This is quadrant three, this is quadrant four. What is the reference angle? Here we go. What's the reference angle when sine of theta is equal to one half? Let me draw you a triangle. Five or six, I love it. Opposite over the hypotenuse, right? So sine of pi over 6 is 1 over 2. So our reference angle is pi over 6. Sine is negative in which quadrants again? 3 and 4. So I need to know which two angles are going to give me sine of theta equals negative one half. Take a minute, see if you can piece all of it together. Seven pi over six and one pi over six. 
Um, this it? Mm. Yeah, I think so. 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. Yeah. I'm right in this step. <laughs> I'm trying to send an email to you guys um, of the test.
Go sign up 11, 5, or 6. Good three over two. Positive or negative? That's a quadrant four. So co sign positive or negative in quadrant four? Positive. Positive quadrant four. And cosine of 7, 5, 6 is quadrant three. They're doing two sessions, aren't they?